So my breast cancer diagnosis um, happened in 2010 when I was um, diagnosed with um, my first breast cancer. Um, and that was pretty confronting and uh, you know, something I had never contemplated, obviously, uh, because males don't get breast cancer, right? And um, anyway, it didn't take long to realise that uh, I was one of those candidates. Um, and uh, 2014, um, it uh, metastasized into my um, lungs and then um, subsequently into my brain and then subsequently into my spinal column. So um, it's been a, an interesting journey over those, uh, that number of years. And um, each one of those you know, new instances has brought with its own little challenges and trials. But um, you know, I think uh, I'm lucky that I've been able to do what I've done and see what I've seen and experience what I've experienced. I think I've had about uh, seven, seven or so chemos at the moment and other um, other um, drugs that have sort of been used at different times and um, some of them have worked for a while and then, then we have to keep changing them up because of this you know, bloody cancer that just keeps on manifesting itself in different ways. Initially when I had my mastectomy I just got burnt like crazy and uh, because we haven't got much um, tissue there and um, I had basically third degree burns and that was just excruciating. And then um, subsequent to that when I had the um, the metastatic um, when it went through my spine, which is only just recently, it's fairly vivid in my mind. <laughs> it basically just um, you know, turned my insides out uh, into um, a bit of a mush pit. Um, and um, yeah, it was hard to get over that because it just has such, you know, far reaching effects, particularly in terms of your, your dignity. And um, you know, when they're down sort of through all of the soft tissue area at the bottom of the spine, it's, uh, it doesn't leave much to the imagination, to be honest. He makes everyone laugh about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he says, mm -hmm. he says, well, I'm still up, I'm still here, sunny side up. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly, um, uh, you have been so strong and brave during this process, and his catch cry has always been, well, it is what it is. <laughs> um, There's always somebody worse off than me, so yeah, there is. I think the hardest, the hardest is now. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty tough. <laughs> Just one foot in front of the other and, you know, be there for each other and it's hard because I can't fix it for her, you know, which is what I want to always do. Mm. You've already had conversations, um, private mm. conversations with the kids. I have. I sat down with, sorry, that was pretty tough, but um, I had to have those conversations. Uh, of course, you just don't know how long that piece of string is. And uh, that was really good. We just went in and sat on the bed in, in our bedroom and you know, spoke to the kids about what was happening and you know, some of the future and some of the things that we've done together and what they mean to me. And that's the most important thing. Just her resilience. Um, her compassion, um, her love, unabiding love, it's just amazing. And um, yeah, just keeping everybody together, you know, it's that motherly you know, instinct where um, she just looks after everybody in terms of the, you know, the kids and the other family and friends and everything else. So, um, and that makes such a big difference, you know, when somebody's there running around and whether it's just cooking a simple you know, never a simple meal with her, but um, <laughs> cooking a nice meal and having people sit around the table and and just sharing stories and uh, you know keeping it real. You know, it's just uh, it's just amazing. Yeah, she's a, an amazingly strong person who's just got this, this undying love. That's just yeah, beautiful. I wish I was stronger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I work in IVF, mm -hmm. um, so related field, and uh, so I really love. The kind of patients I deal with yeah. um, and I'm hoping that you know what I've taken from this journey mm, can good. impact on them because mm. um, they, they relate um, what IVF patients are going through is the same as what uh, cancer patients are going through, yeah. going through a grief. Mm, exactly, good point. <laughs>